review of these Oakley EV0 Prism before I get back on the road, back on the Hand River Road here. It is 5.14 p.m. Late winter, early spring, nice day for it. It's about, eh, it was about eight or nine degrees, probably falling down six or seven degrees now, uh, but still beautiful with the sun on me. A little worried about what it's gonna be like over there in the shade might stay on this side of the river. Anyways, Oakley EV0 Prism. As you can see by some of those shots there, orange or maybe rose tinted you know dare i say rose tinted sunglasses so not your typical sunglasses as you can see you can see my eyes through the glasses my basic take on this is that if you haven't tried a pink or orange lens for running or riding your bike uh you got to do it and i was a little skeptical at first wasn't sure i would really really like this kind of glass uh but it works uh very very well one, it's not always sunny, you know? Some days you go out at dawn or you finish at dusk and you know, the sun is out, maybe it's not out, the light decreases, light varies. Uh, so you get uh, eye protection even in those low light or different kind of light scenarios. Also, yeah, just cloudy days, you know? Some days it starts sunny, goes cloudy, just goes cloudy, starts sunny. If you have an orange lens, uh, works in all forms of light. Now, if you live in a cloudy place too, I used to live in Scotland, uh, cloudy and rainy all the time. Uh, you basically never need proper sunglasses. So if you live in a rainy place, maybe Vancouver, Canada, or, you know, Oregon, you know, Seattle, Washington, something like that, this, you know, orange lens works really, really, really well. Another one is depth perception. These orange, I'm not sure exactly what they do to the lens, I'm sure. I think these are designed for mountain biking, uh, but they are made for going in and out of shadow. So like basically under tree cover, some kind of, you know, patchy sunlight, trees, shadows, that kind of thing. Uh, going in and out um, works really well. You don't, and for some reason the orange just seems to work really well with those browns and greens and moving between yeah, light and shadow. And you're able to make out just little rocks, roots, and all those variations of gray, brown, and green that you get in a forest or you know other kind of natural environment for running, essentially for me. And following that, when you're in tree cover, if you're running trails, I don't know what mountain biking is like, but if you're running sort of trails, you know, sometimes you get branches in the face, leaves in the face, whatever, bugs. Uh, and it's amazing to be able to wear sunglasses when you are in those kind of conditions. Because I've had so many occasions where I've got some kind of branch or leaf in the face uh, that, yeah, probably wouldn't have poked my eye out. But man, could have seriously messed up my run or my day. Now, what is that saying? Well, anyways, they have that saying, uh, you know, seeing the world through rose-tinted glasses. Really? Even like right now, the world looks way better with these glasses on. You know, just this nice creamy yellow glow to the whole sunset. And when I take my glasses off, it looks just kind of like gray or whatever, you know? So very, very much enjoy wearing these at all times. Again, Oakley EV0 uh, Prism. Basically have these no rim. Uh, I love that you don't get anything on your peripheral vision. Once they're on my face, I can see in my peripheral vision, I can make out the top just a little bit and the bottom just a little bit, but not the sides or the attachments on the side or really the, um, the nose piece there. Everything, essentially when I'm riding or running, nothing in the peripheral vision, nothing. No rims, nothing. So, uh, super light, it says EV0. I think that has something to do with the weight being, you know, close to zero. Really, really light one of those set it and forget it uh put it on your face and you just you know you don't even notice you're wearing them sometimes sunglasses might pinch uh you know on the nose bridge or you know behind the ears or have a little weight to them like i found that with ray-bans or other kind of metal or heavy plastic ones this uh no problem whatsoever just put them on barely feel them uh and whatever rubber compound they're using uh on the nose piece and the uh uh, the earpiece, it just sits very, very well. Yeah, whatever rubber compound they're using uh, on the earpieces, on the nose piece, works very well with sweat. I think Oakley has something patented about that. Uh, and basically, the more you sweat, the more it grips. Uh, 
so never come off. The only, only time I've ever found these glasses to bounce or move when running or riding is, yeah, if you've got things like hats or straps on the side there interfering. For instance, my running hat, when I wear it backwards, no problem. But if I put it on forwards, uh, it just dips and might touch the uh, earpieces and then move it around. So yeah, these glasses, essentially, they are game changing, almost life changing. They are just the perfect thing for runners. So if you are thinking about trying any kind of orange, yellow, pink tinted glasses, definitely go for it. These glasses in particular, or any super lightweight rimless uh, sunglasses like this, uh, worth trying, really, really worth trying. Uh, I would say in terms of pros and cons, okay, I listed all the pros. The pros are rimless, peripheral vision, uh, eye safety, keeping all the crap out of your eyes uh, in terms of you know bugs, but also sticks, leaves, whatever. Uh, in the trails, uh, that beautiful glow, low light, all light conditions. Uh, cons, maybe price, not cheap, uh, these glasses. Um, I've had them for a while, they're scratching here and there. You know, they might not have the longest life. And also, with the um, these very, very thin, as you can see, very thin arms, uh, already I can feel the hinges just moving a little bit, just changing, just kind of loosening up. And I can tell that the lifespan of these, you know, although it's durable quality plastic, the lifespan of a plastic hinge won't be that long. Uh, I've already scratched them just a little bit here and there uh, and multiple cleanings and, you know, using these daily and wiping them down daily. Uh, you know, the lenses are going to go after a while. So eh, the price and the life, you know, um, for me, my eyeballs are worth it. I'm going to, you know, just protect my eyes at all costs. So I think the 200 bucks or whatever that cost is going to be like well, well worth it. Um, but yeah, cost could be a, you know, con. The lifespan could be a con. The delicacy or fragility of the glasses may be a con. Hit me down in the comments. Uh, tell me if you got any other brands, uh, any other, you know, lens tints, uh, you know, your own review of these glasses, other brands, you know, I'd love to hear what you think about these uh, style of glasses. Um, okay. Later. Peace. Have a good ride. Bye.